And here we go again. Vibe up to heart sync. And this is the last compass I'm offering for you this time. And this compass is actually your heart's song. They say when you allow your heart to sing, it takes you where you need to be. The vibration, the sound is your compass. So how do you find your heart song? How can it be your compass? The first thing obviously is that you listen, you attune to that song in your heart that can take you beyond and can take you on this journey to heart sync. The second part that is important is actually to dare. We have not really learned to listen to our heart song and much less to actually express it. So the heart song obviously has to do with what we really love. The purpose in our life, on our soul's journey, the mission on this amazing shift, on this evolution, what is it that makes your heart sing? And where can it take you? Daring for me is actually different from courage. Courage, of course, also comes from the heart because in French, cœur is the heart. When you dare, it's a, a verb. It's actually an action. It is actually doing it. And so when you express your heart song, your compass to heart sync actually gets attuned. And you naturally come into this higher expression of yourself, your 5D you and your maps that you are preparing at this time. So dare, and daring also means you don't rationalize, you don't worry about what other people say, you don't worry about if that is different from how you have been, what you feel you need to be, if this is complying, if this fits into whatever. The third part of letting your heart song be your compass is letting it flow. Don't control it. When your heart song becomes your compass, it can take you to amazing places if you allow it to unfold. A song sometimes changes, can change his tone, his note, can even change the key. As we are allowing our heart song to be our compass, it will just take us there. So the second part here is obviously how do you find your heart song? And I said already, you listen, you dare, you allow it to unfold. When you're on the quest to find your heart song, there's many different ways to do that. But it starts all with connecting to what you have denied yourself. So what you love so much, but what doesn't fit into the labels and the conditions, the programs and the paradigms, maybe you have grown up into. And so it requires actually that you break a lot of circumstances, a lot of energies that hold you and separate you from your heart song. So I'm inviting you to break whatever stops you from listening to your heart song and making it your compass to 
two hearts sing. Of course, they obviously have a relation, the heart song and the heart sing. Through your heart song, you're connecting to your source fractal, to that unique part of you, to your heart life, whatever name sounds good for you. And that song has the vibration of these new octaves of consciousness. And it sings together with the seraphims. And it sings together with this new vibration of the Aquarian age. So it's not only you, your heart song. When you make it your compass, you are entering this orchestra, this magic of this shift of this 5D and beyond, of your map beyond consciousness and within. So this is a wonderful, absolutely glorious place to be. And it's not like if you choose your heart song to be your compass, that you don't need the chakana or you don't need any other compass or the architecture of your heart. Actually, they are all one. And I leave it up to you how you bring them all together. They just have different notes. They just bring you different ways to heart sync. But yes, a compass is a very nice tool. So you have your maps and your compass, and now you have also an idea about your 5D U with the compass and the maps. So thank you for being on this challenge with me. Interesting challenge. And I hope we all enjoy that. And I hope we're all learning. Surely for me, making videos like that and putting myself on a challenge to vibe up and heart sync together with you was an amazing journey. It's not quite finished yet. I still have the fourth video in the, in the compass, but it surely has opened me up to share, to connect, to bring through the wisdom that is given to me for all of us, so that we are able to wipe up and heart sink into this new space, into this new age, into this new consciousness that is for all of us. So again, thank you for being here. Love your comments below. If you subscribe, it means you want to be part of this community, and I appreciate it. The like always looks good, but the comments are even more important. And much more important is that we are coming together in this journey of vibing up and heart sinking. So see you soon from my heart to yours.